and we used fusible fleece from Warm Company in that project and so we wanted to give you a little more information about the fusible fleece. So we used fusible fleece one in the tote bag as well as the table runner we used last week and so that has fusible on one side and there's also fusible fusible fleece too, and that has fusible on both sides. So they both work in much the same way. They add nice dimension and loft to your projects. You won't gum up the needle, and it really helps you have hold everything in place before you're sewing. So with that yeah. fusible, you can fuse it right to the project and yeah. really hold it. It's great for if you don't like to baste your projects. Mm -hmm. uh, the fusible can hold all your layers in place while you're sewing and quilting, so it makes it really easy. Yeah, these are really fun products, yeah. products to use. Okay, the Warm Company also has a steam seam 2 and then light steam seam 2. So these are fusible webbing that you would use for things like applique. So the steam seam 2 is something that is a permanent hold on your shapes. So once you fuse it in place, you don't have to sew that down. It will you know, remain uh, in place even when you wash the projects or the clothing if you're fusing things to it. So this is great if you want a no sew project. The light Steema Seam 2 is half of the weight of the uh, Steema Seam 2. So it's great for lighter weight fabrics or if you do plan to sew things in place just to give it a nice finished look, you want to use the lighter weight one so that it's not gumming up your needle. And both of these actually are now printable so that you can print your own applique shapes right on these projects and they come on the roll or in these printer size sheets. So that's a really great option if you like applique. And then our really fun new product too is the Light Steema Seam 2 and these are ABC <laughs> 1, 2, 3 sheets. So it comes pre-printed with letters and numbers and even we have some symbols and we're going to show you how to use that. Yes, so the first thing you do is you want to cut out your the shape you're using. Just give it a little space around the letter and then you just want to peel the backing off and then it's sticky and then you stick it to the wrong side of the fabric that you want your number or letter to be. And you don't need to iron it yet. And then you cut out the shape so it's sticky enough to hold everything in place. So we're just going to cut out the one. And the nice thing is you can do either the big outline that's a little chunkier or you can do the inner outline and that's a little skinnier. So you have a couple options here to really customize it for the project that you're working on. Yeah. So I'm doing the bigger shape. So I think it would be really fun to use this on the tote bag. The numbers coordinate perfectly mm -hmm. with this, this fabric line. You could make a little tag. You could monogram this. I think this would be a really fun maybe gift for a teacher. End of school year is coming up and this would be a great tote for them to, to have all their school stuff Good in. Good thinking. Okay, so once we have the number cut out, you just want to peel the backing off and the fusible should be stuck to the back side of that fabric and then you just layer it on the fabric and you just want to iron it. Um, if you're using cotton you'll do a high steam setting um, or a high heat, heat setting with steam and you just hold it about 20 seconds and it should be perfectly fused in place and then from there you can stitch it down if you want or you don't have to. There we go. So fun. I'm going to be just personalizing all my projects now. This was so easy to do.